didn't, you know, eat them at that certain time. So, I'm fighting cravings. So, I thought I would go lay down with him. Um, so, I did. I was being a good girl, a good egg. And all of a sudden, like, he was half asleep and I was too. We was talking. And all of a sudden, this big commotion, just like all in the apartment, it sounded like somebody had gotten in our apartment. I mean, it was like, boom, boom, boom. It was knocking things over and stuff like that. And I mean, it come in the bedroom and it was like a, a bolt of lightning. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You couldn't see what it was. And it was my cat. I guess they had gotten in a fight or something. And they, Little, which is my male cat, flew across the bed, knocked my stuff off my table and my uh, on my nightstand, come across my leg. I will insert a picture. And scratched me, so I had to get peroxide for that. It bled like I was dying. It finally clotted. Um, it was just a little, it was like just two and great just scratches. But that's not the point. What happened to him? That's what I want to know. He got a bag on his head. And then when he got the bag on his head, I guess it scared him. Because I think cats are scared of like bags and like stuff that crinkle, it freaks them out. So my husband like just furious. Like he got like two little uh things. He got two little holes in his um hand. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make this thing stand up. Okay. But anyway, he he did get a little bit of um hurt, but not like I did. I always get the poopy end of the stick, as you would say. But anyway, that was an adventure. And then after that, I noticed that they kept looking around the couch. Like they, I don't know, it was just freaky, okay? And then on top of that, this morning, I, well, last night, I had... And I had a bad dream about my friend, my old friends, you know. Sorry, I'm trying to put my hair back, you know. Um, but I had a bad dream about my friend that is currently my friend. I had a dream that I told her that I was scared that her relationship was getting in the way of our friendship. Um, like it did with my other friend, Felicia. I think that that one had a relationship, too. We don't know, but it just kind of bothers me. I guess it does bother me, but it doesn't bother me that she has the relationship. It bothers me that she is pretty much isolating herself away from us. Um, but I know it's just it's what it is. It's a fairly new relationship and stuff like that, and it's okay. I just need to realize that. I need to realize I probably did it too when I was with Philip. Um, I'm just happy that she found somebody that, you know, and I hope this somebody is going to be her everything for the rest of her life. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Thursday will be my doctor's appointment. I will try to take you guys along. Um, I can't put you in the doctor's office that and let you hear what they say because I don't think you're allowed to. I don't know how that works, but I don't really feel like, you know, going through that. But I can, you know, take you along, you know, and show you, um, you know, the coronavirus is out here, and I am going to be wearing a mask because my immune system is very low, and I'm acceptable to get anything, and it will kill me, you know. It, and I'm not trying to die. If I was trying to die, I definitely wouldn't be taking all these tests, you know. But I 
my prayers are with people that um, are going through the coronavirus and the people that are trying to fi find a cure, uh, a vaccine. Uh, prayers are with them because they have to find this cure before it kills everybody. Um, I don't know. I hope that they do find this cure soon. So, um, my sugars have been running good. I have put on a little weight since our last talk, but I think it's water because I was, you know, I do retain water. I do have a heart problem. I do have, um, stuff like that on me. So, cause I'm just going to admit that because I, I don't, you know. But I had something to say, and I think I'm going to bring it up. You know how everybody was down in Amberland for her, I don't know, boats? Like when she makes the cucumber boats. I honestly thought it was not good. It didn't look good. But I found in a book, an old cookbook, that they, they did those kind of things. Like they make those kind of cucumber things and when I find it I'll go in there and get it I could not believe it I was like okay Amber makes these um you know boats she calls them and the, and then she made the potato with the salsa on it which I thought was kind of ridiculous but it's actually in there. It's, in, it's you know, I've seen somebody make that. And maybe it is good. Maybe it is healthier. You know. So, you never know what's good until you try it. You know. So, maybe, maybe Amber has something there. Maybe Amber has the same book I have. I don't know. But I know I got it because the book <coughs> from my dad. And my mom had it. So my dad, when they found out I had diabetes, they they gave me the book to help me cook better, you know, for myself. But I didn't look at any recipes. 